Hey, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. This is going to do... We're going <laughs> to... This is going to be a love reading. I can never get my words together. You guys know me. If you guys are new, you guys will figure that out. <laughs> but okay. So let's see. You have date, courtship. Okay. Apology. Wow. So you have somebody that's coming back that is... Um, Wanting to take you out, okay? There's definitely somebody from the past, okay? Somebody that's returning. They want forgiveness, okay? You have dreams, messages. These remind me of Native American. You guys might have Native American. I know I do. I have Cherokee and Sioux, S-I-O-U-X. But with the dreams, I feel like you guys have been getting a lot of dreams about this person. There, <laughs> there's more negative cards in this deck than there are positive so, um, and then you have jealousy, anger, lurking, possessiveness. So you might have somebody lingering over you, or there might be a third party that's a little bit jealous of this connection or will be jealous of this connection when it happens. But I do feel like you're being brought this person for a reason. You deserve love. That's why. Because I guess the third party, you guys could be in another connection or the, your person could be in another connection to where it's like you didn't get the love that you needed. And I do feel like this person's coming back around to uh, try to fix things up. They may ask you on a date, okay? You have finances and career. So some of you guys are really focused on your finances, okay? Really focused on your career, getting yourselves to where you need to be. This could also be the other person. Take it how it resonates for you. But let's see their intentions. The Justice card. You could be dealing with a Libra. The justice card is about making things right. The world coming back around, trying to restart a new chapter with you. Two major arcana straight off the bat and the five of pentacles. So this person could be coming and asking you for some type of help or they can be coming through and helping you. Okay, you see how like the person's got their hand out and they're reaching for it. So the five of pentacles is about help, okay? The Page of Wands, the Knight of Pentacles, the Four of Cups, too many cards, the Ten of Cups, and then the Seven of Wands. Okay, I feel like there. this is somebody that you feel like there was a missed opportunity with, somebody that you could have been waiting for a very long time for. The Ten of Cups, I feel like you envision this person as being like you're happily ever after, right? The Seven of Wands, there's some resistance here, right, to start something new, resistance to, you know, move forward. I feel like this person misses you a lot with the Five of Cups. Why the Page of Wands? I feel like they're going to send you a message. The Five of Wands, the Ten of Swords, the Eight of Swords, somebody's going through an ending of being stuck. Somebody was stuck in something that was not so good. This could also be internally because swords are thoughts and words. So they could have been in a negative space, a negative head space. But they're getting signs all over you to message you because I feel like something, somebody here is going through an ending or just recently um, walked away from something. Okay, so now we're going to find out what does this person want to tell you. They're coming back around, though. The Temperance card, the Strength card, another two major arcanas again. Leo, Sagittarius, okay? I do feel like this person has been remaining strong. They've been really trying to get themselves together. They've been really healing, doing a lot of work on themselves, okay? They're working up to courage here. They're making big changes in their life, okay? The Justice, the World, the Strength card, and the freaking um, Temperance card. This person, the Six of Swords, is sailing away from whatever didn't serve them in, in the past anything that was too rocky could be habits relationships old ways of whatever it was the six of swords it could be the way that they were thinking right um this is ending this is healing so what they want to tell to tell you is that they've been healing and i feel like they came to a realization that um something needed to break apart yeah the knight of wands and the ace of cups this person's like almost like in a rush to come back to you with the ace of cups they do want to offer you their love they do want to express their love to you i feel like they have a whole lot of love that they've been holding inside as i say that the queen of cups she is somebody who has a lot of love but holds it inside as i freaking say that so that's what i'm saying i feel like this person is very has a lot of passion for you there's a lot of chemistry between the both of you what do you feel like about this person the three of swords they could have disappointed you hurt you i feel like you might still be holding them close to your heart or at least the pain the two of cups in reverse you feel like this person just never can give you what it is that you want this person didn't reciprocate 
and then the ace of pentacles in reverse too as well you feel like this person is going to break your heart again you feel like this person's going to come in and take back what it is that they offer you you do not feel like this is going to be something that's stable now i am going to ask that now since i see that being a question like is this person going to stick around the next time they come back this person had a realization that they don't want to lose you. The back and forth stuff needs to stop too. So is this person going to stay when they come back? The five of cups, the hierophant, the two of wands. It depends on how things go. Why the five of cups, the king of swords? They might be a little, a little intimidated and the ace of cups. They needed to lose something. They needed to lose you to realize that they want they didn't want to lose you again. You have the temperance card again. To me, it kind of depends on how things go. If somebody is still in another connection and it's, you know, and it takes too long, this could be something that may end up not going the way that you guys wanted it to or going the way that you're expecting it to. Some of you guys have to think more positive about this and not focus too much on all the negatives and all the things that could go wrong because our thoughts create our reality. So when this person comes back in, you may question them a lot or not trust them and there might be like this wall up. I feel like starting fresh, starting brand new is going to be the best thing for you guys. Don't go into it thinking you're automatically going to get hurt if you're going to give this person a shot. You're going to have to, you know, start fresh. Start from the beginning. Start with trust, okay? And communication's very important. Speak on your feelings. Don't hold back the things that you want to say. Don't hold back the things that are deal breakers to you. With the Hierophant and the Ace of Cups, there's an opportunity for this to be something successful or for this to kind of go um, long term. The Hierophant's about con a commitment and the Ace of Cups came out twice. This is like real love, okay? The Nine of Cups and the Three of Swords. Yeah, I feel like there's a lot of heartbreak. It's like this is what you want and I feel like you guys are so nervous that if you even try again, it's like you don't want to get your hurt hard again. You might be standing strong. Like when this person comes back, you guys might not give them a shot. You see how she's like white walking on a tightrope here? It's like you guys might have to like really weigh out your options here when they come back. I don't think you're going to be so accepting and so open so quickly. You're definitely going to have your walls up. So when are they going to come in? The Hermit, which is Virgo. And the Death card, which is Scorpio. So within the next few months... You know, the ending of August to the ending of November. The middle. The middle of August to the middle of November. Oh, my God, Jesus. Um, and then you have the Knight of Pentacles. There's a lot of work that needs to be done with the Hermit and the Death card. This is also about life lessons and making inner changes, okay? Working on your inner child, learning more things about yourself, Right, the death card is major endings, but it's the caterpillar that turns to a butterfly. So it's a brand new beginning. When this person comes back, they're not going to be the same that they were, but I feel like you guys think they will be. They're going to be more healed. They're going to be more understanding of things. They may even come back more spiritual. So let's find out why does this person keep on coming back. The Empress, the Ace of Wands. Oh my God, I'm not going to take all of those. Maybe I should. The two of wands too. This might be, they might be keep on coming into your life to help you um, be able to make choices. Like maybe you have a hard time making choices and this person can come back and keep on showing you the same thing over and over and over again. And it's like, <clears throat> you might have to make a decision here, a final decision, or put your foot down or something like this. There's a lot of fear, okay? So overcoming fear, Right? And with the Queen of Cups and the Lovers, you guys might be somebody who has so much love for this person, but you might not open up and say it. Maybe you don't speak what it is that you really want. Maybe you're afraid to tell this person what it is that you feel. Maybe you're afraid to give this person another shot. I do feel like the purpose here, one, two, three, four major arcanas and an ace. This is for you to recognize your strength, recognize that you can have whatever it is that you want, but also recognize that, you know, you're important if people can't respect their boundaries or give you the true love that you deserve or give you the anything right that you deserve like the acknowledgement the communication the protecting you i do feel like if you guys um 
I do feel like this is for to help. Oh my god, I can't literally freaking talk. To teach you guys how to set stronger boundaries with this person and other people too as well. And for you to notice your worth. Like, you may not want this person back. You guys may be the one that pulls back when this person comes back. Because I feel like with the Empress, the Lovers, the Strength card, the Queen of Cups, you kind of blocked your emotions off. You've learned how to cut them off. So this way other people can't get in and hurt. They can't get in and hurt you. The Seven of Wands in Reverse. This is about building healthy boundaries and letting those walls down. Yeah, so I do feel like... So let's see what Spirit wants you to do with this. The Ace of Pentacles, the Two of Cups, and the Seven of Cups. This is another card about confusion, but I do feel like this is also a card about options. So it's like Spirit says, you have so many other options. You do not have to settle for less. Only make a decision when it feels right. With the Two of Cups and the Ace of Pentacles, go where it feels good. Go where you feel like it's stable. Go where you feel like it's going to grow. Okay, if this person comes back... I do feel like they're going to come back in a new energy. I do not feel like this person is going to mess things up. But I also feel like that you guys won't trust them. Only take what resonates. Some of you guys will. But I feel like there's a, a fear of this person walking out again. Or a fear of you guys getting stuck in something negative again. Old patterns showing up, you know. You have the fool. So this is about taking a risk. But only take the risk, like I said, if it feels good. There's always another day. You do not have to rush into anything. And you have the Knight of Pentacles, which is about taking your time. So, oh man. Conflicting, right? So we're going to get um some physical traits of the person. I don't use these cards that much because there's not many in here. You have wavy hair. Piercings. Dark blue eyes, and then dimples, all right, and brown skin. So this may fit your person, this may fit you, even if it's one. But I do feel like this person that's coming in, they're all for it. What do they want? I feel like they want to communicate to you. The Page of Swords, the Two of Swords... I feel like they want to ask you a question, but they're scared. They're scared. The moon. <laughs> they want to ask you a question, but they're scared. The four of swords. So it's just like the right now, what it is that they want is communication, but they're not speaking up. This person keeps on holding back, holding back, holding back. And it's like they're not doing anything. But like I said, Virgo to Scorpio time is when this person may be coming around. The moon keeps on popping out. That's fear. That's worry, but it's also about reflection and growth and signs and intuition. So I feel like this person is overcoming that fear. Why the Two of Swords? The Two of Wands. The Hermit. And the Justice card. There's literally, the Justice has like the two right here. This has the two. So there's a choice that this person needs to make, but they're unsure. They're kind of feeling like they're walking on eggshells right now. And with the hermit, they're still learning. They're still kind of figuring things out. The hermit is self-reflecting. So this person right now is in contemplation mode. It's like they're trying to figure things out. There's a lot, a lot, a lot of fear to speak up to you. I feel like this person feels like you do. They don't want to go through that heartache again. They don't want to be rejected. They don't want to be told no. They don't want to have to reach out to you, get their hopes up, and then get shot down, right? It's like... There's a lot of fears like, oh my God, how do I approach this person? How do I talk to this person? You know, I want this person in my life, but like, am I healed enough? Am I good enough? You know, do they want me back? You know, that's what's all going through this person's mind. Their mind is all over the place. The six of cups on the bottom of the deck. So I'm telling you, this person wants to come back. I feel like there's a lot of communication that needs to pl take place. There, there's conversations that need to happen here. And being open and honest and getting everything out is the best way to do it. So this way you guys can figure out things right away. Don't be afraid to say anything. And let them know that too. Tell them to speak their damn mind. So this way you can figure shit out, you know. I think that they're going to be reaching out. And when they do, I want to see what they're going to say. 
the Ten of Wands. This has been a burden on them. The devil. They could have had an addiction or been stuck in something that was toxic that was really hard on them. The Nine of Cups. It could have been an alcohol issue. Or they could have been at a point to where they were like really just like focusing on themselves. Seven of Wands, they were being too resistant, okay? But the Empress, I do feel like they're taking care of themselves. And the Knight of Swords, they're charging towards, like, their own independence and doing better for themselves. So if they were going through anything toxic or tough or whatever, they're breaking down those, okay? They're, they're getting rid of what doesn't serve them anymore. They're walking away from it, okay? So... That's what I got for you guys. If it resonates, please like and subscribe. And I hope you have a great day. Toodles.